Welcome to another episode of JD and the Sump Sea. Um, so in this one, yeah, new header format here, trying to uh, switch things up just a little bit. Uh, basically, uh, we're, we're, we're on the end steps here. So uh, what, what I'm doing right here is I have uh, Liquitex uh, carbon ink that I've thinned way down. And basically, I try to set my lights so that, um, you know, they create natural shadows with the light over the top. Um, and I'm shadowing in. Um, this is a pretty important step, to be perfectly honest, if you're trying to get a little bit of uh, oh, immersion, realism, I don't know. Um, I guess in the end, in the end, I, I just kind of like the look. Um, this really does highlight everything, or sorry, <laughs> not highlight. Um, it makes the highlights pop without me actually having to do any highlighting work. Um, yeah, uh, once again, we've got a new uh, look here. Um, boy, you really see the back of my head here. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, okay, so now um, we're applying the weathering powders. Um, first starts with dust. Um, this is an aged dust, this is a Forge World powder. Once again, I think I purchased it in the 2000s at some point. Like I said, this stuff doesn't go bad as long as it doesn't get wet in the bottle. Um, and a very large uh, natural brush. Um, I'm putting uh, some, well, kind of thicker layers on this one for a little bit, a little bit more. This is a, you know, this is a big piece of terrain here. So just kind of kind of pushing it all over the place. The end rust that I'm going to be doing is going to be applied this way in a little while, in a little bit here. But, um, uh, yeah. So anyways, um, yeah, here's, this is dust that I'm doing and we're going to do, uh, a darker rust followed by two stages of lighter rusts. Um, and I'll come back. Uh, a little later. Okay, now we're uh, starting with the uh, lower uh, lower end of the rust. Um, using a brush like this is, uh, and these weathering powders. Um, I'm, once again, just like with the oil paints, I'm really glad that I just dived into stuff and just kind of shut my eyes and threw it around and, you know, see what came out. Um, uh, believe it or not, I'm a heck of a lot more pinpoint with this stuff than I was originally when I first started using it. Um, kind of like most, you know, new painting styles, which this isn't new, but it's new to me anyways. But um, I really hope that I got this camera work right down now. This, this does look pretty good. Um, you can catch, you know, a lot of what I'm doing here and yeah, you're you're just filling the brush up on the tips, and then you're you're dabbing it in, and then just spreading it around. Um, yeah, I did a lot of this on the uh, the pit fighting tile. Um, I'm doing a heck of a lot more of it now, um, and this 
really, really melds um, the piece together uh, better than any other way I've found, at least up to this point. Um, I, uh, it's also a heck of a lot of fun to do this. It's a big flipping mess and, you know, it just makes working on things like this a lot less daunting when you, you know, you have, yeah, here we go. We're going up a step on the rust and yeah, you can see it's getting all over the place. It's getting down in the sump and with these, I'm getting a little bit less on the brush each time. Um, but yeah, you can see it poofing. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, I can't, I can't, it's hard to explain exactly how much fun this, this is. You know, I, I look forward to these detail steps, you know, more and more and more, because you could just keep working this stuff. Um, I am really attempting to try to get this whole project finished here. Um, so, Hopefully the next video is going to be an actual walkthrough and we're going to, I think, try to live stream it. Um, yeah, this should be released on a Sunday and we should be able to live stream it on 8th, the, the next Thursday when we normally release. Um, Jay and I are going to have all the tables set up with the uh, sump barge. And uh, of which case, a little later on, I'm going to be finishing up those pieces and adding them. Um, but yeah, we're going to have uh, all the other the other eight tiles in between these two, and we're going to have the barge in there. And oh, here comes the crane. Um, now, as you, some of you watching probably have noticed that uh, the the front end of the crane is broken already on me. Um, I am okay with this. Uh, this is not something that's such a bad thing. <laughs> Once again, underhive, the, you know, stuff's all broke. It's, uh, it's, it's perfectly fine. Um, yeah, and I'm setting up the pieces uh, to do this. I'll be gluing them down, uh, I believe in this video. Uh, truth is I can't remember right now. Um, and if we do, well, then I'll talk our way through this. But yeah, here comes the dust again. Um, at this point, so I, I, I dump these powders on a, on a paper plate and then, um, you know, you, you try to keep them apart from each other, but you know, it never works out that way. Yeah, this is where things get a little bit, uh, cause everything's still apart, I haven't glued it. Um, Probably should have glued it before I started doing this stuff, but you know, hindsight's always. <laughs> if we had hindsight before we made the decision, it probably everything would be a little bit different in the world, I think. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna do the weathering powders here, and then, yeah. Let's finish up these pieces here and uh, I'll come back to you a little later.
Okay, so now we're under the uh, the road show, and uh, this is going to be the uh, making it look dusty like the ash wastes. Um, now we're going to start with uh, airbrushing. I, I think I go with a uh, dark muddy or a yeah darker muddy color, um, and then to a lighter muddy color. Um, and yeah, we're, with the airbrush, uh, this is my cheapie again. Um, the little Amazon Master Painter, uh, $35, Amazon Prime. Um, yeah, I got the 0.5 tip in there. <coughs> there is, uh, and yeah, we're, um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to mimic the uh, dust effect. Uh, which, you know, surprisingly enough, is very close to uh, object source lighting. Um, we're just not using light in this point. We're using dust. Um, so you, you, know, you pick a direction and you, you know, spray back. Um, if I turn the piece around to the back, there's not as much dust or, or debris, you know, trying to simulate driving, <laughs> uh, which, you know, I drive a lot. Um, my house and my business are uh, quite a bit of uh, time away. So it's one of the reasons I can listen to some city radio as much as I do um, on the drives. But uh, yeah, we're going to do this and then we're going to use an ash colored powder. I actually don't think I, uh, I uh, videotaped that. Um, but yeah, this is going to be one of the things that uh, sets yeah, here we go. As you can see, it's uh, kind of looks like she came off the ash waste into the sump. My lighting's still not very good yet, but uh, yeah, there's going to be a definite difference between that barge and the uh, stuff coming off off of it. Okay, and now, all right, here we go. The actual final final steps, and this is the as you can see, there's. Uh, the powders have dipped all into the sump. And this is one of my favorite parts because we can just mesh all of this together and it just looks like a, just a goop. So along with this, I'm going to be doing um, a bit of sump object source lighting again. And once we get the sump down and highlight it a little bit more, you'll start noticing that I'm going up with the spray. Um, and that's to get the bottom parts, basically. So the idea here is to uh, mimic the reflection of what a nuclear glowing <laughs> lake of death would would kind of do in this situation, you know. Um, I'm going to guess the lighting in, in here is not very good, you know, and the sump is kind of glowing green itself. Um, and, you know, it's these... Real little, little add-ons, you know, you just, you keep adding paint and different stuff to things and, you know, you just mush things around until, you know, they kind of, you know, I'm adding, I know I have a lot of greens in this. It's kind of funny because uh, one of the Facebook pages I joined was uh, the Blanjetsu, Blanchetsu, <laughs> I'll never pronounce that right, um, uh, style. And, uh, you know, funny enough, they still let me post, even though I don't look anything like John's stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, it looks dark and murky and immersive. And, you know, I can't tell you how much fun I have doing all this stuff. <laughs> it's really, it's really silly. <laughs> Things shouldn't be this much fun. Um, but, uh. Yeah, so we're just going on the areas on these pieces here that are um, going to be facing the sump. Okay, I'll come back to you guys in a second. Okay, yeah, and uh, here we go with the shack and... Just on the sides that are facing the sump, we're going to be doing this. This uh, And basically all this is is a yellow-green ink 
that I've thinned way down. And here we go at the end. We're doing a little bit of a walkthrough here. Now, everything at this point is glued down, I believe. Yes. Um, I had to make a few adjustments. Um, yeah, there I am watching myself video. Um, the stairs had to be knocked back and the tower had to be lowered where the shack is. Um, mainly because it wouldn't fit in the tote uh, <laughs> that I'm going to be carrying all this stuff around in with that tower being, or the uh, the shack being as high as it is. Um, the top still comes off and the crane still comes off, but everything else in this is glued down. Um, I wanted to do it this way because when we do the next video, I actually wanted to take the camera and walk around um, uh, on the inside of the sump. Yeah, so we're going all the way down here. Little bit of camera work. Woo! Good job. Still not the best, but uh, I am getting better, I think. Yeah, a close up shot and another one. Woo! Crazy. But, um, hey, um, I just wanted to tell you guys once again, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I, uh, yeah, here we go. This is, uh, this is the way this looks right now. I'm pretty excited. Um, but anyways, uh, hopefully we're going to have the live stream up. Uh, check, keep, keep in touch with the channel for it. And, uh, we'll let you guys know what's going on. Um, have a great night. Thank you so much.